My boys are 16 and mm -hmm. we have a very strong bond. Mm -hmm. We have like, we go beyond the mommy and son's relationship. Mm -hmm. We talk about their girlfriends. We talk about who upsets them, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So yes, even before Abokwa came into the house, yeah, there was a discussion. discussion. And there, wa there was an acceptance. Mm -hmm. When Abokwa, Abokwa had solid relationship with my boys, until he started hitting me. My son John told him, the next time you call my mother a prostitute, don't call me son. Do you remember the first day he hit you? That oh, was the, yes, that was the pregnancy. Was it, that, yes. was it that day? Three, on the 1st of December. That was when you lost the pregnancy. Yes. A pregnancy he knew you. you it, were, it was our child. But it was the doing of the Lord. Because God didn't want me to carry the son of an idiot or a daughter of an idiot. So it was, it, it was God's perfect time and it was... You know, when it happened and I was sad, I remember the, um, the Friday, the second was Farmer's Day and I spent like two, three hours in the hospital and I was sad and I was crying. He said something, he said, God knows best. That's what he broke us Yeah. And today, that was the best answer he gave me. Mm -hmm. God knew that so, I couldn't so adopt I'm a man <laughs> and his son. Mm -hmm. At which, at which point did you decide that enough is enough? I don't know if I'll be, I'll be cited for contempt of court, but Joycelyn, after our wedding on the 22nd of October, here your wedding, you and a pastor, Kachira say, I asked when are we signing the marriage certificate? Mm -hmm. And the pastor told me my ex-husband was playing better. Was what? Who was playing better. Mm -hmm. So obviously there were people there and I didn't want to throw down trauma to my wedding. When we got home, my ex-husband told me that eh, there's a problem with his ex-wife. Yeah. So their marriage is still on system. Yeah. So if I want us to have a marriage certificate, he needs, he will not tell you give me money, but he needs to raise $1,500. And I paid him that money. So to go and do what exactly with that? He has to finish with some documentation with his divorce for mm -hmm. me to have my red certificate. Mm -hmm. So sometime on the, I think 30th or 28th of October, he made some documents available and I signed because mm -hmm. no more filled documents and I had to come to Ghana mm -hmm. to prepare for the tradition wedding. So I came. In the midst of all this, I broke away my marriage certificate. He can't provide it. In the midst of all the beatings, in the midst of all the drama, Abokwa can't provide me with a marriage certificate. So I contacted my brother, who witnessed for me. And all my siblings are South Africans by nationality. So my brother with his ID number went to home affairs to pull out my marriage documents. That's why I realized that as at the 22nd of October, Abokwa was still legally married to his ex-wife. Wow. So wow. I questioned him and I saw as usual as problems have been solved in the house, I was beating. I demanded for a marriage. Do you know till today I don't have a, I haven't seen my marriage certificate before. But my brother was able to pull out a document and then I checked with my lawyers mm -hmm. and then they told me that the marriage was null and void. Mm -hmm. So I told my brother, this is my fine, my, my fine mm -hmm. Already even the document on the system states that we got married on the 1st of November. Mm -hmm. On the document, it states that our pastor, Pastor Desmond Osby Swaz, who is the pastor that officiated the wedding, mm -hmm. is also your witness. It's not right. Yeah. So until you give me the proper documents, I don't want to go on this marriage. And if I don't want to go on with this marriage, then you must leave my house, because this is my house. The house, yeah. And he packed his thing and left. My brothers returned their bride price. Their mother collected the drink and the mother told my brothers, Kwabena, Isaac, and my manager, Bernard, to come and tell me, say, Fanta, four dear, Ujaya Waria, if you leave a Fanta man, you must pay him. Is it true? Me, I don't know. I'm not a Fanta. Me, I'm not a Fanta. Ujaya Bema, I'm a Fanta, former ready Ujaya Bema, Una Usuno. So I told, the, I told my brothers to go and tell the mother, that I've been feeding her grown son, son. for months. I'm going to first ask her any payment. Mm -hmm. The mother said, say, I see what TV is so crying, I'm going to buy my money. And I'm saying, sir, I see what America is doing, I'm going to say, 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 I'
So obviously, he didn't get the money. Mm -hmm. He had to come and video me and also demand for $10,000. Mm -hmm. to, the, to the video... Okay. Was shot after he has left the house, the house. Two months after he left my house. And so, how did he have access to your house? It was, it was something that, according to my house help, he told my house help that he owns the house. But and didn't your house help know that that was no, the house? No, we, we employed the house help in March. Okay. So the girl met us as a husband couple. and wife. And automatically, like society will have it, the man is the breadwinner, so obviously he's the one who owns. So he told my house help that he's going to get rid of me and then keep her and then look for a better wife because I'm not a good woman. He told the house help how I'm squandering his money, how I'm even wasting his money on my children. Mm -hmm. He said I'm wasting his money on somebody's children. Somebody's children. And I don't have any child with him. So eventually, you forgot to mention the fact that the one that was on the way, he killed it even before. He didn't. It, it <laughs> he, he, wouldn't like tell, he wouldn't tell that mm -hmm. the girl that. But eventually, and also, he is always home with the house help. Mm -hmm. I go to work and come back. But then, didn't that bother you that you had a stay at home man? Like, just you know, I tried everything. You, like, what do you mean you tried? Did he try? He, he didn't, didn't try. I didn't bring a broker to Ghana to come and stay home and be a house husband. And he couldn't look for a job? I he... got him three jobs he didn't show up for. For the love of God, the, chief of, the former chief of staff was my friend, Mr. Julius Zebra. I spoke to him about my husband. Come on, bring me a photocopy of your ID. He didn't show up. My friend Monica, Monica Everett, she lives in, she lives in Takradi. She has her, her own escort company that they escort mining trucks. She rents mining trucks. Her company is called Mumpy, mm -hmm. Mumpy Ventures. Mm -hmm. Even as at the time that he came to attack me, my children were with Monica. Mm -hmm. Monica got a broker a job. All they needed was a photocopy of his ID because he's, he's a South African by nationality. So crossing the West African boundaries, demand visa. Mm -hmm. So all they needed was a photocopy of his Maybe ID. He didn't have an ID. He, he has it. He came, with, he came to Ghana with a South African passport. Instead of him to give the ID to Monica, or did he Monica tell He rather called Monica and told Monica that Monica cannot come between Ononeme. Just let me tell you one embarrassing situation. One embarrassing situation. At that point, I told myself, I will leave this marriage and Ghanaians can go to hell. Yeah, but if, yeah, if he didn't be you, would you have stayed married to him? Because No, because he here. He can't have an intelligent conversation. He lied to me that he was a, a, a former student of Kwabuche and Vichy University, which is a lie. He's not intelligent. He's not smart. You didn't see Child. all these things, even by talking to him, by your interactions. Oh. Were you that sedated when you were sick that you, you could not even pick? You know, because they say that the signs are there. There was no sign. Yeah. And we didn't even have yeah, time. Yeah, he's a darn good we actor. We didn't even have time. For those signs. Mm. We didn't even have time from August, September, October. We didn't have time. And mind you, the whole of September was in Ghana. Yeah. We didn't even have time for those signs. Yeah. And apart from his insecurities, lack of self confidence, he is also dumb, stupid, and childish. Mm -hmm. Very childish. Mm -hmm. Very, very childish. Because, and yet, and now, then, now, my even, friend. Even around that time, was that, were you still posting pictures of? Because you see, again, the Holy Gram, Instagram, social media, makes us keep up appearances, whether you like it or not. That's that's the society Seriously. we live in. So around the time when all this physical, mental. When he left the house, I wasn't posting pictures of it. No, but even during the time when even Monica asked him, for instance, for his ID. Hold on. No, Dina, don't, don't, don't even go there. Don't even go there. Let me tell you the most, embarra the most embarrassing thing that me carry on here about how share toilet and so. Me carry on about how to share toilet and so. Try me. Let me try you. <laughs> so I went to my friend, mm. and I told my friend, I don't have money, Monica. Charlie, me I was then working for Angel TV. Two months, three months, our salary not clocking. Mm. I'm like Monica, I don't have money. Mm. And then Monica gave me money. Mm -hmm. And then I, when I go home. Sometimes I am a day, so I can say, So, me being, being a wife and trying to be a nice person, I'm like, Baby, do you know what happened? 
Monica gave me money to give to you. But I spent some of the money buying myself shoes and I bought myself dress. And it's left with 500 Ghana, so I decided to give to you. Mm -hmm. Monica didn't give him a dime. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't, I don't have my other phone yet. I didn't bring it. Kamebo voice, I'm with you. And I'll send the voice to you. When I gave the money to my husband, my husband went into the toilet and called Monica and told Monica that. Can you believe? Auntie, how are you? Oh, no, no, you, no, it's not done. Stop hiding. <laughs> Jason, stop hiding. And then my friend told my husband, I don't give my money to men. I didn't give a dime to you. Mm -hmm. If I knew she would give you, I wouldn't have given her. I wouldn't have given her. I, I don't know you. Are you my friend? How do you expect me to give my husband's money to you? Then my friend recorded him and sent me the voice and sent me a message saying, I am very, very ashamed of you that I will give you money and you go and give to a man. <laughs>